How do I look? Looking good. Welcome to Old Friends and New Roads. My name's Keith. Today we are going over the gear I pack on a long motorcycle trip, or even just an overnight if we're honest. There's not a whole lot of difference between uh, two nights or seven nights besides clothes. Uh, you always need a place to sleep uh, and a place to sit. So I'm going to start from, from my left, your right, and go across to kind of sort of, it starts at living situation, sleeping, sitting tools and fun. I guess that's how I'll say it. Um, so let's get started. Oh, I should say that there's a bit of a virus going around called the uh, coronavirus. It's kind of got everybody acting all weird. Uh, I hope it doesn't mess with any of my riding season you know i'm i'm worried that people are getting sick and but there's also a part of it like are we just blowing this out of can you know we just just kind of want it to be done it's mid-march now you know i'm they're canceling concerts no gatherings can't go to the bar uh, it's crazy uh, but we're making videos there ain't nobody around we're all good so I'm gonna start with our tent and there's a bit of a history here this is the half dome four it's a four-person tent it's a it's a sizable tent for a motorcycle what does it say the, the floor is 94 inches by 86 inches with a peak height of 48 inches six pound nine ounces um, we had a two-person tent when we first started this deal um, well, before I get into that, I should say you're going to see a theme of REI stuff here because what I've found for motorcycling is backpacking gear is it's the lightest, it's the warmest, it breaks down the smallest, it's just it's interchangeable with motorcycle camping. So, uh, this could look like an REI ad uh, if you're looking for sponsorship. Uh, anyway, back to the tent. We started with a two person tent. But it turns out that when it's pitch black out and I wake up in the middle of the night that like the sound of the tent being really close in front of my face kind of freaks me out. So I needed something bigger. We got something bigger and this thing's sweet. There's room for me and my wife both fit in there. Our helmets, our coats can all fit in there. It's got two vestibules that we kick our boots off in. It's just sweet. Uh, the sleeping bags are going to look, sleeping bags are next, they're going to look really big. Let the shitty dog stop barking. And cut. So, uh, the sleeping bags are going to look really big. Uh, in the off season, I put them in this loose linen duffel that they come in so that it's not spending all winter all packed up tight. It's a big one. Uh, kind of dirty. It gets stored next to our our skewers for, you know, doing marshmallows and stuff. But these sleeping bags are 30 degree bags. These are the original bags that we bought when we first started doing this probably six or seven years ago. And they still work great. Uh, the zippers are kind of shitty on them. You know, it could be a real struggle, you know, but they're pretty nice. And and with that sleeping, those sleeping bags is a little trick that we learned on our last trip to Idaho is if, if you take foot warmers and you break them 
activate them. Put them in the feet of your sleeping bag before you go to bed. It's a game changer. So added to the list, new for this year. Probably won't take the whole box, but fucking foot warmers. So if you didn't know, now you know. Because a lot of times we're riding out in the high desert and it's, you know, 100 degrees out during the day, but it gets really cold at night. And I don't sleep, you know, fully dressed. And that's, that's super nice. So um, on to our sleeping pads. I'm going to show you the ones that we got first. The in-camp insulated air mattress. Super comfortable, super warm, surprisingly. Well, not surprisingly, I guess it's insulated, but uh, you know, there is no heat loss to the ground on this. Uh, we do have an upgraded version here, but this, I just wanted to show you the size of this. So, you know, and I'm always traveling with my wife, so there's two of everything. So two of these, I mean, that's pretty sizable. So we upgraded, I believe last year was the first year of them, maybe an overnight the year before. Uh, I went with the Q-Core insulated. My wife went with the AirCore Ultra. Um, so, pretty small size, especially when compared to, to that, you know. So, they, they cost a little more. Um, but, you know, we can only have so much stuff on the bike. And anytime we can save like that, uh, fuck yeah. And also on the Q core, something I should note is it's like a, it's like a, what do they call it? Like a hatch pattern on the mat. It's not horizontal lines or vertical lines. Um, and I find that more comfortable. So my wife's I believe is vertical. And then the, the outer edges are bolstered. No, I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that. We have two chairs, Flexlight REI chairs. Uh, it's really important for me to rest my back when we get to camp. Picnic tables aren't good enough. Stool's not good enough. Piece of firewood isn't good enough. I actually have to rest my back. So we also bought these the first year that we, we did this. Um, these are much more readily available nowadays. You can get them for a lot cheaper, but these are the same ones we bought, never had any issues, and they still work like they're brand new. So, uh, and resting your back is super important. Now we get to pillows. So, kind of pillow snobs here. We got two of these Arrows pillows by Sea to Summit. Um, nice, small breakdown size. Um, they're air, but they're insulated also. But sleeping with air, air doesn't really give a whole lot. So we we went to, what is this brand? Thermarest. And these unroll. Um, what I wasn't considering was that these pack down really small and they're foam. And I was like, oh, that's going to be super comfortable. But what your head does is packs it down. So these do end up kind of flat throughout the night. So they didn't replace our air pillows. What we usually end up doing is every night changing it up and one will be between your knees, one for your head or or vice versa, whatever you're feeling. I did open one of the Thermarests before I got started to kind of show you that it kind of gets some of its loft back. This has been in this state for, I don't know, five or six months now. So, so then it's, probably been an hour so like you're setting up your your sleeping arrangements by the time you're ready to go to bed it, it's probably there so light black diamond light collapsible got a lantern flashlight hook on top um, this thing's perfect it's perfect as a lantern perfect as a flashlight it just does it just suits the bill you know and and I don't keep batteries in it in the off season so guess what this still lasts. Uh, what else we got? We have a med kit. Same one we bought from our very first trip six or seven years ago. Uh, I've never used it. And I should probably go through this and make sure that nothing's expired in case we do need it. We have a 
couple of cups, collapsible, always handy. We do bourbon and coffee in these. Thank you much. Uh, what else we got? I have a, it's a kickstand pad. So always loose gravel or soft dirt, you know, you don't want your bike going over and camp again. Hatchet, must have. If you want fires, you need something to break down firewood. Uh, I'll come back to that one. It gets a little weird on this end of the table. Towel, always pack a towel. Uh, whether it's we're going swimming or you wanna lay down and stay out of the dirt, but mostly it comes in handy for wiping the ice and dew off of our seat in the morning. Uh, I don't want to start start my ride out with sitting on a wet seat so either we wipe it down or even drape it over just to prevent the dew or ice from building up and that works totally. Um, this is a battery pack for charging devices. Um, now that I have that tank bag and the handlebar mount for my phone that's up there near the outlet I'm hoping that maybe I won't rely on this as heavy heavily but it it's got jumper cables in it and it says a little jump start a car, so I'm still packing it. I have my my compressor, as seen on other videos. Take that everywhere with me. Um, and now, I brought this to Idaho with me last year. I'm gonna bring it this year again. Um, hat, I'm huge on head coverage. And if there isn't shade to be had, Everybody in camp's gonna be jealous when you bring your own. And shall I forget, shan't I forget, the travel guitar. Yeah, man, pretty stoked to bring this. I have no idea where I'm gonna put it yet. And my wife said, as long as it doesn't take up her underwear space, she's all good. So that we'll learn together in the video where I Put all this stuff on my bike so stay tuned for that so it's cool a little toss around guitar um i have one more item forgot to grab be right back now i almost forgot something very special uh every year we go on these trips and we have you know there's certain things that we like doing every time uh, often we'll bring food with us to cook the first night. After that, it's kind of a shit show. Uh, another one is I bring a special bourbon on every trip. And for the last four years, it's been blood oath bourbon. And this stuff is just amazing. This is the 2019 and we'll be taking it with us on the 2020 trip to Idaho again. Uh, last year I had the 2018, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, this is Blood Oath Pact number five. So it's the fifth version of it. It's a company that does proprietary blends of whiskeys and bourbons. And they only release so many, you know. If you get in it, if you get one when it releases, uh, then good on you. Because you, then you can get it for the normal price. Because after that, after they're all gone, the you know, the price goes way up. And it... It's a good bourbon and we, you know, we toast the blood oath. So, um, hope this provided you some insight. I hope it didn't scare you for packing your own shit, but uh, believe me, I'm on a road glide ultra and, and, and all this will fit on the bike. What I didn't bring out was my clothes. Uh, you know, clothes kind of just shove it where it can fit in, but, uh, stay tuned for the next video where I put it all on the bike and I, and I hope you liked it. A um, couple of things in the works, check out uh, some kind of show podcast. We got a new segment called beer and a question where we answer a listener question and sample a listener suggested beer. That's, it's really good. It's been really fun to do. Um, check out my cousin frowns with park and spark on YouTube. Uh, He's killing it. Uh, really proud of that dude. Uh, 
In fact, he's going to be on some kind of show again in April. Uh, check out my sister and my brother's channels, Terra Bostic with two S's. And my brother's is uh, doing, doing stuff drinking. So great channels, great suggestions, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.